Hi, uh, my name is Christian, and I'm very excited about this Pottery Barn Airstream. I have been watching every video that's been recorded about the, the Airstream uh, since it came out. I've always loved the exterior design of Airstreams, but I never found an interior that I thought was any good uh, until this one came out. So I've watched the Airstream official video a million times. I've watched the Colonial Airstream video with my boy Patrick Botticelli a million times. Uh, I could probably quote the entire thing and do the whole walkthrough the way in which they did in those videos. But those are walkthrough, nice, glossy videos that just show you all the wonderful uh, features of the trailer. But I wanted to see what it was really like to live in a Pottery Barn Airstream because I hadn't seen anyone record that video and I just wanted to know what it was like before I dropped $150,000 on it. So my girlfriend and I came down to Caravan Outpost in Ojai, California and we stayed one night in the Airstream. We cooked dinner last night and we cooked breakfast this morning. We really wanted to test everything out. We used the toilet, we used the shower. We wanted to see how the whole thing worked and we have some notes. So um, there are a few things that we really loved, a few things that we didn't like, a few things that are obvious like wear issues that, that should be considered and then some things that, that were just kind of odd. So I'm gonna start with the odd things. These light switches we found to be really odd. There's all these different panels throughout the trailer and they all have, they're all different size panels, but they all contain different numbers of, of buttons for the lights. And all of the buttons are exactly the same shape. They're all these round buttons. And so you can't really tell what's what. And there's no rhyme or reason to like, you know, the overhead lights are always in the top left or something like that. So you have to read each one. Now, we've only been in here one night. So I'm sure if we own the trailer, we get used to it and we build that muscle memory. But it's something that we noticed initially. It's just really hard to walk around and figure out how to turn lights on. There's a switch for the reading lights. You have to push a button on the wall to enable the circuit for the reading lights, but then each reading light is turned on. See, I have that circuit off. So now I have to come over and press reading lights, and now I can use the reading light, but still you have to press the button for each light. So we find it odd that there's sort of this double trigger. First, you have to enable the circuit, and then you have to push the, the light that you wanna use. The other real problem with the reading light is that it buzzes. There's a real audible eh, and so it really disrupts you when you're trying to read. We also found that these sconces are push button only. So unlike the reading lights, there's no button that you have to press to turn that circuit on. That circuit is always on and you just walk up and push the button. So I wish that the reading lights were more consistent with those sconces where you could just hit it. There's also a couple lights in the galley, the kitchen area. And from what we can tell, there's no button anywhere to turn it on. You have to go to the touch panel and go through the menu system on the touch screen or use the Airstream app to turn on the lights in the kitchen, which I think is insane. I mean, I, I'm hoping that I just can't find the switch because it's, it's pretty nuts that you can't just walk into the kitchen and turn the light on. Okay. We noticed a lot of wear issues. Now, again, this is this is at Caravan Outpost. People like us are checking in every night who've never stayed in an Airstream. They're misusing things. They don't understand how it works. So this isn't really a note against Airstream craftsmanship. It's probably attributed to the people who have rented this, this unit. But this is January of 2022. They only started making these trailers uh, last summer. So this is not an old trailer, but already there's some notable wear issues. One is this, this wonderful butcher block cutting board that everyone is always talking about. It is totally warped. And when you set it in the sink, come on over here. When you set it in the sink, it, it just wobbles. It is like, it's really a dramatic uh, uh, warp. So that's something to keep in mind if you buy one of these trailers. Just be careful of the... Um, just be careful of that cutting board. The other thing that we noticed is that there's a label here to not open the trash can cupboard. And we, we can open it a little bit and see that some screws have pulled out. And I don't know what the heck happened to, to cause that. I don't know if it's a, I don't know if it's a construction issue or if somebody was drunk and just tore the thing off, but we noticed that that doesn't work. Um, we also noticed that there is visible wear on the bathroom door handle. The paint is gone off of the top of it. 
And there's also a little bit of wear on the bathroom faucet, like right where the water drops out of the faucet. The paint is rubbed off. There's also, uh, there's also some damage to these Roman blinds. So this one can't stay up at all because the, the, the blind is pulled away from the steel braided cable covered in, in plastic. And then over in the dinette, one of those is just completely broken. So it's just not there anymore. So those are some wear issues that we noticed with the trailer. There's also some quality issues that we noticed. All of these doors, the, the main door and the bathroom door, they, they have fitment issues. They just don't close right, they wobble. Probably that can be adjusted. I'm sure if I own the trailer, I'd get it dialed in really nice. But that was quite surprising. When we first came in, you know, we kept messing with the locks, trying to figure out if we weren't closing it properly. There's also this cabinet that has the DVD player and the, the stereo. We put some blankets up here last night, and this morning we took them out, they were hot. So this gets really hot, and we just weren't expecting that. These vents are insane uh, in a bad way. They're really flimsy. When we saw this at, uh, we've been to two Airstream dealers to look at this trailer before we rented. And I thought that maybe it was just a problem with the units on the floor, but these vents are wobbly. There's also two levers. One is to change the direction that the air will blow. And then the other is to open and close, you know, to control how much air is coming through. And when you turn one, the other one turns as well, and you're constantly like trying to set it right, and then you have to move the other one, which causes the first one to move. So you're up there with two hands trying to do it. It's it's bonkers. There should really be a better way to do it. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say on the quality. No, there's one more. There's we were surprised by this. There's been a lot of talk about this faucet, this this black pottery barn faucet, how it's real residential. It turns out it's plastic. We were shocked to discover it, but the, the, uh, the, the sprayer part, this end here is, is just plastic. We also found lots of problems on the, on the poles for the, for the cabinets. The, the stuff in the kitchen is metal. It works really nice, but in the, in the bedroom and in the bathroom, the poles on the cabinets are these really low quality plastic knobs that spin. And I, we, we couldn't believe that that was what's in a $150,000 trailer. But I'll tell you what we like. We loved the kitchen. We own a little teardrop trailer. There's only an outdoor kitchen. So all of our cooking is done outside. If it's cold, we're cooking outside. If it's super you know, hot and muggy out, we're cooking outside. We weren't sure about cooking inside. We've always been, we've always said that we love our teardrop because we don't get the interior messy. There's no grease that spatters anywhere. You know, we, we've got all the room in the world. We're not running into each other in a cramped kitchen. We found this kitchen to be great. We cooked fajitas last night. So we were, uh, we had chicken uh, going on the stovetop. Melissa was chopping vegetables on the cutting board. We were dropping that in. We were listening to music on the stereo. It was like really fun. No one was in each other's way. It worked out great. So we really loved that. This living area was really nice. We wanted to watch a movie last night. We brought some Blu-rays with us. Now it turns out Caravan Outpost has intentionally disabled all of the TVs in all of their Airstreams. It's because they want people to come here and experience nature and do yoga and fine, you know, they can do that if they want, but it doesn't work great if you're trying to evaluate the trailer uh, like as a purchase because you want to test everything out and we just weren't able to. So nothing really against uh, Caravan Outpost. They're not here to let you test out units before you buy. They're here to let you be, you know, in Ojai and hanging out. And so it's their choice to disable the TVs. But we set up a laptop here on the, the kitchen counter and we like this cozy front nook. The couch is very comfortable. These cushions, you can move them around and lay on them different ways. I wished that there was an ottoman. I really like to throw my feet up when I'm watching uh, a movie. So we pulled this drawer out that's under the dinette and took these cushions from the, from the dinette and just stacked them up on that drawer. And I'm tall enough that I was able to reach my feet out and, and kick back. So that was pretty nice. So we love the living area. We love the kitchen. 
we really love the shower. So I'm a giant guy. I'm, you know, I'm really tight in the shower. My head is right up to the top. I was joking that the vents is like my hair dryer. I can just stick my head in there, but it worked fine. There's a little seat in there. I didn't use it as a seat, but it was nice to be able to like put a leg up. You can really, you know, wash. There's, there's definitely room in there. So no problem at all with it. I, I really loved it. I'd take a shower in there any day. We also love all the windows in, in the trailer. I think that's probably no surprise to anyone. One kind of downside is we couldn't figure out how to open it. We've opened these at RV shows, but we've read on Airstream forums that often the seal will end up sticking and you have to go out like with a credit card and try to scrape the window open. I tried it on one window, but there's signs all over the place that there's like a $300 fee if you break the windows. So we didn't try very aggressively, but we can't figure out how to open a single window. And yeah, we unlatched the things and everything, but it's just stuck. It doesn't seem to open, but we love the number of windows. It's incredible. Um, okay. Now the deal breaker, the reason that, I cannot buy this trailer, and that's the toilet. As I mentioned before, I'm a big guy, right? And I have experience. We rented a, a camper van in New Zealand and lived in it, in it for three weeks. It had a little wet bath. You know, I was cramped in there. You know, I, I fly on airplanes. I'm cramped in there. I ride on buses. I go to theaters. You know, I'm used to I, – I understand that I'm a big guy in a – world designed for normal size guys, right? So let's get that out of the way. But this toilet is the most unusable thing I've ever seen. Like for me, I have to open the door. I have to leave one leg out the door. There's quite a gymnastic situation going on. It's not pretty. Uh, I cannot fathom buying a trailer like this with that kind of experience in the, for the bathroom. So. There are a million different ways that you could design the layout of this trailer. And I think that that's pretty inexcusable the way that they cram the toilet into that small space. So anyway, that is my review of what it's like to really live in a pottery barn Airstream, at least for one day. Uh, so I hope that this has been helpful. Uh, if you have a chance, come out to Caravan Outpost in Ojai. They say apparently that there's no way to guarantee that you can get this trailer. I don't really understand why. So if you want to stay here, it is possible. It's going to be a difficult phone conversation. Try it if you want. So that's that. Hopefully this has been helpful.